So welcome to day five, the official last day of the first week of our boot camp. Um, today, I'm just going to reiterate some concepts. Yesterday, we focused a lot on the assembly portion. So today, I think we'd um, do some more work with that and also review parts. So today, I'm going to start off by catting a custom part. We're going to cat a smiley face. So this one isn't super hard, but it has a couple of, um, it uses a couple of things that we haven't used before. So I thought it would be good practice. Okay. So while we wait for the part to load, it's just gonna be a really simple smiley face, like a circle. Um, You guys know how that goes. Okay. So since I want my smiley face to be like flat, I'm gonna start on the XY plane. And I'm gonna start by making a circle. So the shortcut for the circle is Control Shift C. I'm gonna make this five inches. Okay. I'm gonna pan here. Okay. Um, I'm going to, and then I'm just gonna extrude this. Okay, perfect. Um, I think one inch is, I think I'll do half an inch. Okay, perfect. So then I'm gonna start another 2D sketch. I'm gonna use project geometry. And then I'm gonna use the offset tool. We haven't used the offset tool um, in practice yet, so we're gonna use that. And I'm gonna do a 0.25 offset tool inside. I'm gonna use extrude. And I'm going to push this downwards, um, 0.25. So then now we have this, right? So this is like going to be the outside. We're gonna start another 2D sketch and we're gonna um, select this inside circle that we just did. And I'm gonna start drawing a smile, like the two eyes and then the circle. So for the eyes, you have two options. You could either draw circles like this, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called a slot. So if you go down here, um, you see that there's um, these slots, right? I'm gonna use the um, straight slots for the eyes and then the curved slots for the smile, because I figured we haven't gotten any practice with that yet, so we might as well do it like that. I'm gonna use the center point slot. Um, here, here, here. I'm just gonna um, do it like really randomly for now, and then I'll use dimension. Um, don't forget project geometry, um, just project everything, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna start dimensioning. So I think I want the, um, I think I'll make it point, 375. That sounds like a good size for me. So point, oh, point 375. And then I'm going to dimension the distance from this center point to this center point. Um, so this uh, point 0.75 is good. From here to here, point 0.75 is good. Okay. And then we obviously also want to dimension the size of this. Um, point 0.75 is good for that. 0.75 is good for that. Um, reminder, um, the uh, the default um, size for our desk is inches. So like it's 0.75 inches and stuff. You can change the default later if you want, but it comes in inches. And then we have to de um, dimension the circle. So 0 0.188, um, okay. I guess we'll just cancel that. Um, let's see how else this can move. So, oh, okay, this so it can move up and down. So for that, we're gonna dimension this from the center to this, but instead of dimensioning on this direction like we did, we're gonna dimension the, um, this direction. So we're gonna do mm, 0.875. And then from here to here, so not down, but to the left and right, um, 0.875. Okay, perfect. Now they're all locked into place. Hit escape, and then I'm just gonna drag this so everything is closer and it's less complicated. Um, yeah, okay, so there we go. These are the eyes. For this um, smile, we're going to do a, um, a slot. So I'm going to do a set, this type of slot. You guys can do whatever slot you guys want. Um, it's really up to you. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Let me redo this. Right here. Uh, I think I'm going to go a bit big. Okay, okay, whoa. So this smile looks a little bit creepy, but I think we're going to be fine. Um, okay, so, um, then you guys can go ahead and start dimensioning it, and I'm putting all the dimensions in and stuff. Um, okay, so dimension distance from, uh, the center point to this point, um, 0.67, I think 0.5 is better, it's a little bit close. Um, dimension this circle to be one inch. Um, I mentioned this to be 0 0.188. Uh, maybe I wanted a little bit smaller than that. 
Zero point. Yeah. yeah, that sounds better. And then you can um, see that it still can move on like this way and this way. So what we're going to do for that is um, create a line that goes from um, the end of this arc to the end of this arc, right? Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do with that is we're going to make it horizontal. So use the horizontal, um, the horizontal thing that I showed you. Okay, not this. Not this. Um, use the horizontal thing. Click this and make it horizontal, so that's good. And then um, you can grab this, scooch it over. And um, the other problem we're having right now is, okay, it still rocks like this, which is not good. So use the dimension tool and um, constrain this point to this point and make sure um, the horizontal distance, uh-oh, not that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to escape and delete this dimension. So the horizontal um, distance from this point to this point, which is, in this direction is zero. Perfect. Okay. Now you can see it can't really move, but I can get bigger. So then for that, um, you can dimension it. I'm not going to. And then I'm just going to turn this line to a construction line. And then there you go. You have a little smiley face. Okay. You click finish sketch, um, extrude. You're going to click the eyes in the circle. Eyes, eyes, smile. And then you have that little circle. Click OK. And then you're done. There's your smiley face. Okay. And you can just go save this. Um, smiley face. And then you're done. So that was our um, um custom part review.